Okay, so members video here for the 6th of August 2014. All right, I'm going to start with the pound yen and I'm going to start on the daily chart and um, you know, 172.42 did break. I'm jumping back down now to the 4-hour chart just to kind of show you that I had that as support. You can see we broke here and we're uh, proceeding to move lower. So we're a bit oversold right now. I don't know if I would be shorting it here, maybe adding to it if I had an existing position, but I am looking at an overall move down to 171.43 as the target. That's also the 200 period moving average. Now, you know, 170.160, 171.55 may work very well as well. Typically, I do like to go above halves on uh, these type of positions. A lot of times the yen pairs will, will make a move and uh, pop below a particular area. That's why sometimes, again, I don't mind just setting it where it's supposed to be set. Because again, this is a pair that likes to run stops, but not always. So pound uh, yen weekly chart really looking kind of bearish. It's got no energy really. Um, you know, hard to say if we're going to come down here and actually break this 20 period. That should run stops. But I think from a conservative standpoint, 171.43 is a good target. Euro yen here now on the weekly chart. We're below the 20, we're below the 50. We have ways to go to get down to that uh, 200 period moving average. And on the daily chart here, looks like we're going to make new lows. 136.54 is where we're at right now. And up to the 4 hour, you can see this is just pretty ugly. But just keep in mind, we do have some previous support here at 136.50. So, um, not going to speculate as far as you know when we're going to make the next move down but I'm bearish on this pair as well um, as well as the SPX 500 which is really looking toppy here uh, kind of looks like we're going to break this 20 period if we do um, I think that's going to be a major trading event because we haven't broken the 20 period and closed below that in a very very long time you could see here on the uh, SPX 500 weekly we've just always hugged this 20 came down hugged the 20 hugged the 20 just you know just continuous hug the 5 and the 10 20 maybe break below it just a little bit like we did here and then a pop right back up that's why Excuse me, I wouldn't get too crazy and in love with the downside here, but at the same time, it, it just everything seems to be coming together now. Sentiment, um, just too many um, long positions out there in many of these uh, stocks that I follow. So um, I know, I'm thinking we may have a small correction, but again, you never know. Daily looking pretty ugly. Um, daily chart support is going to be 1879 on the SPX 500 pound dollar. This is the daily, and we still have that 168.24 support that has worked pretty well. So I have that mark still, and you can see we're finally moving below the 20, finally moving below that five. So we're getting that crossover here too. A lot of bullish setups here happening. And um, on that euro, um, I believe the euro overall is pretty overdone. But most of these charts are bearish. We even broke, let me just zoom out here. We even broke that 200 on the weekly. That's a pretty big deal. But no telling when we're going to have that retracement higher. Euro dollar in general, I have just left alone. It's been a really ugly pair to trade, and I haven't been doing anything with the dollar yen here. 102.26, still strong with support at 102.14. I've also left this alone because it's just been um, you know, really slow, really choppy. This was a cute little double top, um, but at the same time, it's just been a little too bullish for me. Australian US dollar has actually been uh, the Australian overall has been holding pretty strong gotta admit um, 
we'll see if it gets its next leg down. This has really been holding up that dollar yen uh, short, but we still did well on the dollar yen short, so I'm not complaining, but I'm not in any positions here. And this is a pretty ugly and choppy chart. Um, so basically, I went over this already. This is the uh, the pound dollar. Japanese futures index is interesting. We had a beautiful move down, an aggressive move down, but we're close to that 200 period moving average. And because of that, wanted to take some profits in some of these yen pairs, like the Australian yen. Um, probably going to come down and, and get a bounce off of this area. I just have a feeling. Um, so we'll see. If we do break this, the party is over for the longs. I'll tell you now, I feel that we're going to come down to this 38 fib, which is going to be all the way down here at 1482. So we'll see. Here's the uh, the weekly chart for the Japanese yen. You can see down here we are at 20. So, and of course the Australian yen. I've been trading in and out of this. Uh, you know, taking profits lower, shorting it higher. So it's been pretty good since Friday. But I'm keeping some positions short on this pair. So, at any rate, that is the uh, daily wrap up here. It's a few minutes before we start now. We're uh, open. Um, it's 9:27 a.m. So I'm going to get back to the trading room.